Hi, welcome to Integrated Systems Europe 2022. We are at the Z-Wave booth, Z -Wave Me booth, and uh, we would like to present you our new products. Uh, here we have Z-Wave controllers, uh, DIY solution based on Raspberry Pi. We have a Raspberry board that turns your Raspberry Pi into a Z-Wave controller. Additionally, we have a professional controller for professional installers. It's an industrial grade controller uh, with uh, Modbus, one wire, and can. Um, Buses supported out of the box. Additionally, there are extensions like KNX, uh, Zigbee, LoRa, and G GPRS, and different um, other extensions. Um, we'll talk more about that controller a little bit later. And now let's switch to devices. Uh, in terms of devices, we have uh, uh, a platform to create your own one on Z-Wave. So this is a Z Uno board. It looks like an Arduino, and with that board you can prototype different devices and uh, really uh, make your own software, make your own uh, device. Uh, and this is mostly for prototyping and for DIY solutions. But then, uh, once you prototype one, you can make your own devices in mass production with pretty small series, like from 50 pieces to uh, 500 pieces using this module. It's a little brother or that one. Uh, this solution is really good for uh, condominiums or villas, uh, small villages with vi identical villas where you can automate many different, uh, many identical um, apartments or houses. Uh, you can make your own specialized device with your particular cust for your particular customer and uh, adapt it to your needs. Um, on the other side, we have the big rubber. It's this box. It comes in sealed box or in a DIN rail box. Uh, you put that Uno inside. You can program it. You don't need to solder anything because uh, there are already pre-soldered peripherals like uh, four PWM for LED control. Additionally, we have four zero to 10 volt outputs and uh, different uh, digital and analog inputs and outputs on this side. Uh, it allows you to make a really unique one-piece Z-Wave device for your customer. Uh, here we show a few examples of ventilation and air conditioning control based on Zeduno. As you can see, it's the same board and uh, that was created for the, a particular customer who asked to make a very special device and uh, they did not want it to go in uh, Z-Wave um, peculiarities, so they just took this small board and all the Z-Wave is handled by us. The customer just did the logic with uh, um, this air conditioning system. Uh, another example, this is our new NFC control uh, system. This device is a battery powered one. It allows you to provide access to your apartment or to co-workings uh, based on Z-Wave. For the door, we can use any Z-Wave lock. For example, here we show how to do it with uh, uh, Salto, uh, the analog solution. Uh, for the NFC, you can use a special hotel card, but additionally, you can use any credit card or bank card and a mobile phone turned into payment mode. Of course, it does not charge you for money, but uh, it can be used to emulate the card number. So the card number is your key. Uh, th that solution can be used uh, for Airbnb uh, rental apartments. Uh, for example, when the customer is paying you with a card, you usually know the four last digits. You send the, those digits to the device, and then the customer is able to access the apartment with the same card he paid. Uh, also, you can use this device for uh, co-workings. For example, the customer is uh, using his simple bank card or mobile phone to access um, the meeting room and uh, the card number is sent to the controller and the controller will use uh, the co-working CRM system to decide whether that customer is allowed or not to access the room at that particular moment. Now let's look on the wired solution that can be used with our Z-Wave wireless solution thanks to this professional controller. Let's go to the other side. Here we have uh, the same controller, 
uh, later we will zoom this one, here it's opened, uh, and different devices. All those devices are using Modbus. Here we have a multi-sensor with eight different features, temperature, humidity, motion, CO2, uh, air quality. Additionally, there is light and noise, which is pretty rare, and uh, infrared emitter with, uh, for, to control uh, air conditioning systems and audio video. This sensor is available in Z-Wave, Modbus and Zigbee versions. Additionally, there are quite a lot of different Modbus peripherals. For example, we have a multi-channel uh, energy metering system that allows you to control, um, to meter up to 12 uh, uh, cables with uh, current and uh, power consumption. Uh, then we have uh, relays, uh, again multi-relay, six relays in one, uh, dimmers, LED dimmers. Uh, then we have different sensors uh, uh, that are also connectable here to be transformed to Modbus and connected to the main controller. Uh, we see infrared um, uh, temperature sensor, analog input, digital input, etc., etc. Uh, there is also a leakage control system that um, can sense the leakage and uh, close automatically uh, the water, but additionally report that from Modbus to the main gateway. Uh, the gateway itself um, is a Linux-based system that supports out-of-the-box Modbus scan and one wire. Additionally, there are different extensions like Z-Wave, ZigBee, LoRa, KNX, additional RS-485 uh, and 232. Thank you very much. You are welcome on, our, on the next trade show that we'll uh, attend uh, next year. Thank you very much.